Good morning, YouTube universe. This is Miss Max, and you are listening to Miss Max's Story Time, an adult entertainment channel. Let's talk today about efficacy and gaslighting. I just watched a YouTube video, I'll put a link down below, to a gal's video about her childhood. I also had a similar experience uh, with a person from the past saying that they were surprised I survived my childhood. And honestly, nothing in life has been more satisfying than a stranger's perspective validating my trauma and the chaotic world that I grew up in. <laughs> I like TED Talks. Recently, I feel like I've been gaslighted and I've been questioning my sanity. But the thing is, is I know, I know what I'm saying and I know that, um, and since I have survived gaslighting m more than once, on several occasions by very skilled gaslighters and as a very small person with a very small understanding of the world um, uh, this current situation is um, not perplexing perplexing me as much as it possibly could I was thinking that, well, I'm not going to tell the, the exact circumstances of what I think is happening, but just know that I go to the Goodwill store. Now, I have exquisite taste, and you'll see me running around in crummy jeans and a ball cap most of the time, whether it's I'm hiding from my fans, I'm being incognito, or I just didn't feel like putting on makeup that day. Uh, I'll never tell. But this, and when I say exquisite taste, I don't know what it is about me, but I just want, I want to find Gucci. I want to find Prada. I want to find Manolo Blahniks. And, um, you know, sometimes I do. Anyway, it's funny how many people in the Goodwill store are on their phone texting while it's pointing at me these days. I wonder if it's my fan base or I'm being followed. But what I know for sure is that I survive anything. I grew up in the surf of California. I have almost drowned countless of count countless rip currents, um, undertoes, of uh, big waves coming crashing down on little body over and over and over, swallowing tons of seawater, barfing it up on the sand, wondering if I'll ever get back to shore, and of course. Here I am to tell the story. So I always do. And one thing that my childhood has given me is a resilience to face anything. Anything. It, I don't want to have to face a lion with my bare hands. I don't want to. But if it happens, guess who's going to win? It's Miss Max because not only do I have faith in myself, but my experience has taught me to find that weakness of the lion in a half a second. Now, listen, I have put Pollyanna in the basement, but I haven't killed her. So I'll never remember that weakness two days from now. And perhaps that lion and I could become fast fiends or friends or something of the nature but if it's do or die him or me it's it's got to be me 
I didn't survive all that just to give it up now. There was a time when I was hopeless and struggling and thought I would crash in the waves of Southern California on purpose this time. But I didn't really want to die. I just wanted the pain to end. And I wound up in jail instead. That sucked. Big time. But such is life. Huh. I waited till <laughs> I waited a half a century to go to jail. Oh, so stupid. But hey, I'm here telling you the story and it's all true or is it? So anyway, dear viewer, listener, follower, subscriber, friend, fiend, or whoever you are. Thanks for listening and just know that if it's in for internal fortitude that you seek, nothing prepares you and gives it to you like a fucked up childhood. With that beautiful note, no, I'm not irritable today. What am I? Pragmatic. Have a happy day, and I will catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs>